that's the look I want to talk about. Um, there's a really great video, if you haven't seen it, it's a must see and must study uh, video of Joni Mitchell live in Santa Barbara at the County Bowl with the best band you could ever imagine, Michael Brecker, Lyle Mays, Don Elias, Jaco Pastorius, Pat Metheny. It's awesome. Early 80s, maybe 79, I can't remember. But um, there's one scene where Jocko takes a big solo, which is wonderful. Jo I mean, the whole band is genius all the way through, and Jocko is genius no matter what he played. It's truly a comet that just kind of came through our solar system uh, and just rocked everybody's world. One part where he takes a solo, uh, bass solo, and he's starting, he's playing this beautiful melody. I can't remember, somebody told me what the song was. Something like that. All of a sudden, it looks like he has a little hiccup, maybe, but he just goes really fast. He goes. Now, I analyzed this best I could. It's like he's playing an E major tonality, which would be the 5, 3, 9 root. And then the chords kind of change. Up a major third. And up another major third. Like resolving back to E. So that's like I figured the chords are kind of going. Kind of like giant steps in reverse, right? But he's playing down. And that's the cool thing I wanted to get to is that he's playing a line that's descending, E tonality, then the next neighboring close note in the new key. And the next neighboring note in the key of C, which is the fifth of C. And then the fifth of E. And then harmonics. He was a master of improvising. He could do he could just do a whole solo in harmonics. He knew where the melodies and the notes and the intervals were. It's just amazing. But this gets me thinking. Guitar players have a tendency to treat the guitar like a slide rule and they if they see something in uh, G minor then the chord might go to B flat minor they just slide up a minor third which is no doubt good music can be made this way but it can be a bit limiting and it kind of box you into these little boxes right and to advance a little bit what you need to do is like maybe choose to go in the opposite direction just just you know like what was that Seinfeld episode where they had a parallel universe where every up was down, down was up? So you just force yourself to go in the direction that you don't naturally want to go in. So, for instance, I'll take uh, two chords. Let's take E minor, and let's take G minor. G minor 9. And they're both similar, there's some similar notes, but there are some different notes too. So what I would have my students do is practice going on one line ascending and not stopping and going back to a familiar box that they know. So in case in point, I'd go. So there might be E minor, and then they might, I have them play, I don't care what the rhythm pattern is at this point, just to get familiar with the fretboard. Chord's gonna change now, one, two, three, four, two, G minor. So, the thing here is your mind's eye is having to continue on one path while the chords might be changing underneath them. And that's when you get, you free up your improvising ideas, right? Now, I could take that same Jocko lick, and that's what I kind of think Jocko is doing. And he could have gone, but that would have sounded jumpy and, and too obvious. So he continues down the line. Starts on the 5 of E, the 5 of A flat, the 5 of C, the 5 of D. Yeah, it's like giant steps backwards. So, but what you can do is like play around with this. So now let's get the chords moving um, down. But we'll play the line going up. So we'll continue the line going up, chords going down to C. And then those beautiful harmonies.
harmonics, which are makes it like an E six nine chord with the six, the nine, and the five right here, the fourth fret. Cool stuff, make you think out of the box a little bit, going contrary motion, think a little bit. And sometimes, you know, these ideas, these kinds of ideas are not always inspiration at the moment. It's more of like, okay, I'm gonna try something new, I'm gonna throw a wrench in the machine and try going this other direction and think this way. Sometimes you're, that's when you come up with the most interesting and uh, sometimes more musical ideas. But thank you, Jaco Pastorius, for everything. And um, hopefully this will improve your concepts on the fretboard. Give us some new ideas. See ya.